Hello, I am Sujoy and this is my another video on Operation Research. I have already uploaded 42 plus videos on Operation Research covering the transportation problem, assignment problem, queuing theory, game theory, linear programming problems or LPPs, network analysis or project management. So if you want to watch any of my previous videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. So check them out. So today in this video, I will tell you how to solve a 5 plus 5 assignment problem by the Hungarian algorithm. Today I will tell you how to find the optimal solution in just 7 easy steps. So this video is going to be a little lengthy. I will divide the video in two parts. So let's start the video. Before we proceed to the solution, first let me tell you some basics. So this is our original question. This is called the cost matrix. Here we have 5 machines 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and 5 persons A, B, C and D and these individual cell values represents the assignment cost. For example, if we assign the machine 1 to person A, our cost of assignment is 12 units. That may be anything like 2 rupees, 12 dollars or 12 euros. But if we assign the machine 1 to person B, our cost of assignment reduces to 8. So what is our objective? Our objective is to assign 5 machines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 5 persons A, B, C and D and E in such a manner so that our total assignment cost is minimum since the assignment problems are generally of minimization type. There is also another type of assignment problem. Those are called the maximization type problem. I have another separate video on solving the maximization type assignment problem. Link to that is given in the video description below. You should check that video also. And also as you may know this is called row 1, this is row 2, this is row 3, this is row 4 and this is row 5. Similarly this is column 1, this is column 2, this is column 3, this is column 4 and this is column 5. So this was the basic. Let's start the solution. Step number 1. First check whether the number of rows is equals to number of columns or not. If yes, then proceed to the row operation. Else add dummy row or dummy column. The assignment problem where the number of rows is not equals to number of columns is called an unbalanced assignment problem. I have a separate video on solving the unbalanced assignment problem where to balance it you have to add a dummy row or a dummy column. So since in our question the number of rows equals to 5 equals to number of columns. So our question is a balance problem. So we can proceed to the row operation. Step number 2 the row operation. For row operation find the smallest number in each row and subtract that number from every element in the row. Note the row operation brings at least one zero in each row. So for row operation first let's say in row 1 the smallest number is 8. So we will subtract 8 from all the numbers in the row 1. So let's do it. In row 1 the first number is 12. 12 minus 8 is 4 written here. Next is 8. 8 minus 8 is 0. Next 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. 18 minus 8 is 10. And for E 11 minus 8 is 3. So after doing the row operation, you will get a matrix like this. So this is the matrix after the row operation. Step number 3. After row operation, check if each column has at least one zero or not. If yes, then proceed to step 4 directly. If not, then do the column operation. So as you can see, all the columns A, B, C, D has the at least one zero in them. But the column E don't have any zero. So we have to bring at least one zero in column E. For that we will do the column operation which is quite similar to the row operation. So in step 3.1 we will do the column operation. For column operation find the smallest number in each column and subtract that number from every element in that column. Note the column operation brings at least one zero in each column. So for column operation we will subtract the smallest number in E which is the 1 from all the numbers in the column E. So by doing so we will get our this matrix where 
the smallest number is 1 subtracted from 3 is 2 written here 6 minus 1 is 5 written here and 1 minus 1 is 0 written here and 4 minus 1 is 3 written here and 2 minus 1 is 1 written here remember if after the row operation if you have at least one zero in each row and each column then you can directly proceed to the step 4 so in step 4 now since every row and every column has at least one zero we can proceed for drawing lines for drawing lines scan each row and each column and write next to it the number of zeros present in that row or and that column so here in row 1 we have one zero so we have written 1 next to the row 1 similarly let's say for row 3 we have four zeros 1 2 3 and 4 so we have written a 4 next to the row 3 similarly we will do the same operation for columns so here in column b we have four zeros two zeros above and two zeros here so we have written four next to the column b step 4.1 draw horizontal and vertical lines but not diagonal lines to cover maximum number of zeros with minimum number of lines here is a tip for you to draw minimum lines start with the row or the column which has maximum number of zeros after that look for the row or the column with next biggest number of zeros and cover it with lines continue the process until all zeros are covered with lines so here in row 3 and column B we have 4 zeros so we can start our first line from either row 3 or column B so let's say I will draw my first line L1 through the row 3 so this is L1 next we have 3 zeros now in column B since this zero is covered so we will draw our next line L2 over the column B this is L2 next we have only one zero at this position to cover it we will draw our L3 through the column C step 5 after covering all zeros with lines check whether the number of lines equals to the order of matrix the order of matrix means number of rows or the number of columns so here we have 5 rows and 5 columns so the order is 5 so since our number of lines is 3 L1, L2 and L3 which is not equal to the order of matrix that I have written here number of lines is not equal to the order so if the number of lines is equal then the optimal solution is obtained and then move to the step 7 directly and if the number of lines is not equal to order then some modification is needed that will do in step 5.1 step 5.1 find the smallest element among all the uncovered elements uncovered element means elements which are not covered by any lines so here the uncovered elements are these elements through which any line has not gone and covered elements are those through which only one line has gone like this element here this element here or this element and next are the intersection elements intersection elements are those through which two lines has intersected like this two here and this zero here find out the smallest element among all the uncovered elements so among all the uncovered elements the smallest element is one there may be more than one occurrence for the smallest element like you may get two ones in the uncovered elements so just take any one the value does matter the position does not matter next we'll do three steps step number one subtract that element from all the uncovered elements we'll subtract one from this uncovered element four so we'll get a three which is written here similarly if we subtract one from ten we'll get nine in this position Similarly, do this operation to all the uncovered elements. 
step 2 add that element to the intersection elements so here we have two intersection elements this 0 and this 2 so 0 plus 1 is 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3 written here step number 3 keep the covered elements intact or as it is so we'll keep the covered element intact so the objective of doing this step is to bring another 0 in the matrix. So here this 1 is converted into the 0 into the new matrix. So friends this is the end of the part 1 of the video. In the part 2 we will continue with the rest of the calculation. So the part 1 and part 2 will be uploaded simultaneously. Link to the part 2 of this video is given in the video description below. So click that link to watch the video. Also that is embedded on this video. So how was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will offer more videos on operation research. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. Whenever I will upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. So and if you like the video and the video has helped you, please like and share the video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.